Hey guys, I hope you're fine. This is Victor Guerrero and in this video I want to show you a program that I developed in Visual Basic for Excel. It is a point of sale made specially for small business. So let's get started. Here we have this control access that will allow us to enter the system. So we just need to type our user and a password. We just click OK. And let's wait some seconds. And it's done. So here we have this system. Uh, as we can see, we have uh, different menus. Uh, all of these are to make, to make or to do different things. First, we have this point of sale menu that will allow us to to add the items that we want to sell in this list. So we, we can just type the, the name of the product and we can make a double, double click here and we just need to enter the quantity of the product or the item and we just press or click this button, this button, add item so here we have the product on the list as we can see we have the subtotal uh, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing the uh, the words correct correctly because I'm not an English native speaker so so sorry for that so uh, we have this this subtotal and then we have this discount box if we want to apply any discount to to this sale so we can apply uh, any discount we want and then we have the total of this sale so if we want to to finish this sale we just click this button and oh sorry i forgot to to mention this we need to speci to specify the cash fund before registering any sale so uh, let's say that we have a cash fund of uh, 500 dollars we just click ok and it it shows a message that it says a cash fund of 500 dollars was registered so we just click ok and this will allow us to finish this sale so it shows a confirmation message that says do you want to register this sale so we just click yes and it shows a message that says that if we, if we want to print this ticket so as since I, ha I don't have a ticket printer so I will just click no um, that's it. We have a sale registered. So, if we want to to see the the sales that have been done today, we just click uh, today's sales, and we have this register here or with this record. Sorry, here, and it shows the uh, the number of sale or yeah, the number of sale uh, or the sale number. Sorry. Uh, the time that we, when we we made this sell, uh, the item that we sold, the group where this item uh, belongs, and the price of sale of the product, the quantity, and the subtotal and the discount if we made one or if we gave a discount, and the total amount of money that we gathered from this sale so this is basically basically how how this system works and uh, we have this inventory menu if we want to add new items we just need to specify the the code of the product and uh, this program uh, also can be used with a barcode reader if we have one uh, since i have uh, since since i ha i don't have a a program uh, well, I'm not specifying the the code of the product, so 
so I'm not using it. So uh, we can specify the group of the product, the name of the item, and the cost of the item and the sale price and how many units uh, we have. So this is basically the, the inventory menu. If we want, we can, or, uh, we can change the order of the items depending on some characteristics like the name of the item or the name of the group or uh, the price or the cost of the product or depending on the existence of the product but uh, this is up to you it depends well it depends of what um, of how you want to show the information and basically this is the the inventory menu then we have this sales record records uh, menu it will show us so, sh uh, sorry <laughs> it will shows us the records that we have from all of the sales that we already made so for example if we want to to search or to look for all the sales that we have made on 2021 we just specify the year and if we want to to search for an, to a specific uh, group of products, we just type it here. But if we want if we want to look for all the records, we just leave it in, in blank. Uh, also, with this item box, if we want to to search for for any any product, we can type it here. But if we want to look for all the records, we just leave it in blank. So let's click on search records and it will shows shows us all the the sales that we have made before. So uh, it can be organized as the inventory menu. We can change the order of the of the sales depending on these characteristics shown here. So this is basically the, the sales records menu. And uh, finally, we have this users panel that will allow us to add new users or modify existing users, depending on what you want to do. Uh, it is important to mention that we need to have at least one administration, administrator account which is this, uh, or you can create a new administrator account, but uh, the system uh, always need to, to function with an administrator account, so you cannot eliminate this, uh, this user. Let's make an example. So as we can see, it shows us a message that says it is not possible to eliminate this user. There must exist at least one administrator account on the system. So as I said before, we need at least one administrator user. But uh, this user uh, will show us all of the menus that we have here. If we have uh, an user with user uh, sorry with user permissions it will just shows us this menu of points of sale uh, let's make an example i'm going to create a new user with user per permissions mm. i'm going to put my name so i'm going to choose this option user permissions and I'm going to to establish a password then we just click OK it's it uh, the system asks us if we want to register this user so we click yes and it is done so as we can see I have a new user that only has 
permissions uh, user permissions sorry and let's make a test to to see if as I mentioned before uh, these permissions work so I'm gonna close the program and I'm going to open it again and I'm going to enter the, the new user and as we can see uh, this user just shows us the the point of sale menu so we we can't see these other options that were made for the administrator's account accounts so um, well i consider that this is important if, in case you, in case you have uh, employees so it is very useful so uh, let's close the program again and I'm going to open it again to access with the administrator user So as we can see, we have all of the menus again. So this is the the characteristic that that uh, these these two users have. Well, if this video is useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or leave a message on the comments section. Uh, have a nice day and bye.